हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑक्सिलरी इंजन गवर्नर ऑयल चेंज प्रोसीजर एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन योर स्क्रीन दिस इज द Hyundai Himsen auxiliary engine having a specification of 5H21 by 32 and here is a governor oil where which is we are going to change so basically the first procedure is very simple a drain cock is or a drain plug is removed and the oil is drained in a tray now how we will know that the whole oil inside the governor is been drained for that a side glass is provided from here we will see that this there should be no oil been seen in the side glass to ensure that the oil is been completely drained after that what we will do we will pour some fresh oil and that fresh oil is again been drained by some amount so that by doing so we are flushing out the system and removing any dust and dirt accumulation inside the governor after being sure that the oil fresh oil is been poured and the dirt and dust is been flushed we will plug the drain valve after plugging the drain valve what we will do we will pour some new fresh oil now how much amount of new fresh oil we will pour we will see by the side glass here we will pour the oil to a amount so that the lower meniscus of the fresh oil should be here as you can see a marking is been provided here now the first thing i want to tell you again that as the oil is poured we have to monitor very closely and the type of oil which is basically used in most of the ship in most of the engine is the same which we are using in the sump oil means the auxiliary engine sump oil can also be used as a governor oil in most of the cases in some of the cases there is separate uh, oil that is uh, high viscosity or high density hv or hv32 hv68 oil is been used means higher pressurized viscosity oil is been used now the second question is asked that why we are changing the oil of the governor we are changing the oil of the governor as you can know that as the governor have no purification and is subjected to high pressure and therefore the lube oil loses its property over a period of time normally around 1000 running hour we have to renew the governor oil so it is very important that we make sure that the governor oil is been renewed after a specific running in trouble to ensure the lube oil property is intact and correct functioning of governor is been seen if we don't change the lube oil in that case the governor will become sluggish and in some case it will hunt or it will not come on load or will not respond to any sudden load change for that so changing the oil of the governor is also very important apart from the other setting okay so i hope you understand that why governor oil change is important if you have any doubt please do comment below i will answer it and please do share and subscribe our youtube channel this is a fully marine engineering based youtube channel and please subscribe so that you continue to get this type of practical experience as well as theoretical experience and if you want you can please share this video with your friend in your facebook and whatsapp status thank you friend have a good day and please be safe in your home have a good day